and welcome to my weekly what sold video. Stick around to see what I sold this past week. Hello everybody and thank you for coming to check out my channel. If you're a previous subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real, Facebook Marketplace, and Tradesy. I'm a mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan, and a wife to Dustin. I'm a volleyball coach, player, and I'm obsessed with Disney. So we're going to get into this video. What sold? It was kind of a roller coaster of a week. I had some really crappy sales days and then I had some really crazy sales days. So um, you'll have to let me know down below how your sales have been. I'm still having issues with Poshmark. I know they said they're going to be doing that fireside chat soon. Um, I'm not being involved in that. I don't know. <laughs> I think Poshmark sometimes is kind of like a complete joke, but they make me money. So yeah. Um, also saying that I'm pretty sure that I'll probably never get sponsored by Poshmark to do a video. So, you know. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie and act like I love them. I don't think they really care that much about us as sellers because otherwise I feel like they would have fixed some of these issues by now. Okay, so we're gonna go through what sold this past week on my different platforms. So I did have a couple sales to people um, through Instagram, something they saw in my stories. I know Bridget bought a bundle from me. I did run a BOGO sale midweek because sales were super, super horrible. So some people just chose to do the bundles off the platform to help me with fees, which was nice. So um, Bridget, thank you if you're watching. Also, Jody purchased some things from me. She is someone who is local. She actually purchased a bundle from me on Poshmark earlier this week, I think, or maybe last week. And then um, she came back when she found out I was having my sale and bought four more things um, with the BOGO sale. So she came to pick those up in person. And then I had um, someone named Lynn that bought a J. Crew tie-dye sweatshirt from me for $30 shipped. So I had someone named Bridget. She ended up buying these Judy blue jeans from me. Um, I found those at a thrift store. I paid $15. They were new with tags, but she asked if she could buy them. They were her size um, off platform before I listed them. So I told her 45 shipped, which I figured was a really good deal. I still made some good profit and without having to do like any of the work of listing, I was definitely okay with that. So that was, I think all of my like off platform sales. Let's just get into the other ones. Um, I'll go through my thread up. I had a decent amount, but not a ton. So first was this pair of Vince Camuto heels. They sold for $77.99. I got a pair of $32.85. So that was really good. I think I paid $5 for those, but I thought the style was pretty cute and I just wanted to try it with thread up. I don't know if they would all do that good, but these ones did. Um, next, I sold this Antonio Milani casual dress for $32.99. I got a pair of $7.10. Soft surrounding jeans sold for $40.99. I got a payout of $10.46. Cold Water Creek cardigan sold for $40.99. I got a payout of $10.35. This coach watch was my best sale. It sold for $130.99 and I got a payout of $86.72. Um, I actually got this in a coach box. It was my accessory, so way better than the accessories that they normally give me. Uh, my payout was $86.72, so that's amazing. I hope it doesn't get returned. Um, next was a Marmot track jacket that sold for $27.99. I got a pair of $4.26. I sold these Lane Bryant jeans for $45.99. I got a pair of $12.88. And that's it on thread up. So nice just for extra little side income. Facebook Marketplace, I had a few sales. I actually am talking with a friend because I was like, why am I not making sales there? She started reselling after I did, but she said that's her number two platform under Poshmark. And she said, like, if you go in your seller dashboard, um, here, I'll show you on my computer. It'll show you, like, things that you can renew or relist. And I guess it's really good to do that because basically once stuff goes down, like, in the search, it's just not going to be seen anymore. So just the last couple of days, I started doing that. We will see as I do it regularly if it actually helps with my sales. Um, the first thing I sold on Marketplace this week was a Land's End blue one-piece swimsuit. That sold for $20. I also sold a North Face black soft shell jacket. This was mine, and I just got rid of it because I'm going through stuff as I move. Speaking of going through stuff, I'm getting rid of this cringy sign. You know, when everybody had those. So, yeah, I need to get rid of that. <laughs> um, anyway, the North Face jacket sold for $23. I sold some Birkenstock men's uh, Boston shoes. They were pretty beat, but they still sold for $25. And then I sold this new Cinderella princess scrapbook kit. This was my daughter's. She didn't end up using it. 
and it sold for 11. And I don't know if I had any new sales on the real real. Let me check from that last box that I sent in. Okay, so it looks like I did have a couple crappy sales um, and some sad news I just saw. Um, I sold some Moschino wide leg pants for 15 and I got a pair of six. Pathetic. Acris Punto straight leg pants sold for 15. I got a payout of 450. The Acris lamb leather jacket is getting returned. Sad. That's depressing. And I think that's it. <laughs> so, wow, that was depressing. There's the real, real news. I feel like, uh, and you know what else is super annoying? I put out a box yesterday for the real, real. I had a Christian Dior suit and some Versace couture jeans. Um, and so I've always put all my USPS boxes on the porch, but I had this one on the other side. And all of a sudden my real, real rep texted me last night and said, the UPS man said his pickup was unsuccessful and he's gonna try again tomorrow. I'm like, the package isn't there. So I tried to go back on my security camera to see if my mailman took it, but it's, I don't know, we're having issues with the app. So I hope he didn't take it, or if he did, I hope he brings it back because that Christian Dior suit I know will make me lots of money on there. And that would really suck if like something happened. Like I don't think someone came up and stole it because why would you steal one when there was like tons? So I'm hoping maybe the mailman took it and he'll just bring it back or like they would get it to UPS somehow. She said she's gonna check the label today and track it and see if it's like anywhere. Okay, so I'm done with story time. Let's get on to my other sales. We're gonna go on to eBay here. First was a pair of Rag and Bone Men's Fit 2 Slim Button Fly Jeans. I got these at Plato's Closet and I ended up coming home and finding a stain on them that I could not get out. So I sold them for $30. Next was an Ovation Girls Black Horseback Riding Helmet. This was my daughter's when she used to ride horses a few years back. That sold for 18. Next was a Toad & Co. Chaka Blue Skirt. This was new with tags and it sold for $27.66. I sold this Michael Kors black leather top handle and designer purse. This came to me in a thread up name brand handbag box. That sold for $75.66. Next was a Coach Red Tassel designer purse. This only sold for 19. It had multiple stains. It was not in good condition. So I sold it cheap. I sold this Freya olive green long line lace bra for $15. Next was an Athleta gray and white striped Midtown Skort in a size 1X sold for 20. I sold this Tory Burch black Robinson perforated leather tote. This sold for 85. This came to me in my last thread up designer box. I'll put that up here if you didn't watch that video. So that was great. Um, next was the North Face Horizon 2 roll up pants. They sold for 15. You are going to notice this week I had some low sales because when sales are slow, I take basically anything. I need to pay off my Disney trip. Uh, next, Cole Haan at Downtown Leather Square Toe Ballet Flat sold for 13 This pair of Virus Black Yellow Color Block Leggings sold for 16 Mark Jacobs Natasha Quartz Gray Nylon Messenger Purse sold for 30 AG Adriano Goldschmidt Legging Super Skinny Ankle Crop Jeans sold for 20 Adidas Men's Tiro 19 Pants sold for 16 Lice, Lice, I don't know how you say this. Camo High Rise Comfort Leggings, I've had these forever. They sold for 10. Tadashi Shoji Dress sold almost immediately for $60.66. Little weird price there because I have a current coupon in my store for 20 or $25, I think, or like a sale. Because I'm just trying to be like always having a sale. I don't know, I'm trying to help my sales. And then last on eBay was this new Talbot's Red Dress Career Pants, size 20, they sold super quick. For 25 that's not the last i lied also this pair of roberta roller rabbit silk printed pull-on pants sold for 26 this vintage coach sold super quick it was the carly denim purse very y2k sold for 50 bucks and then this halston heritage black patent leather purse came to me in a box at one point but the chain was super heavy and it left indents on the purse and they, they never came out and so i had to sell it low for 20 bucks also, I sold this Everlane tan tiered cotton dress for 30 and that actually is it on eBay. So let me go into my Mercari sales because if they were like actually pathetic. Um, if you sell a Mercari and you know like a way to like delist and relist, maybe with for a free way, let me know because <laughs> I think I need to do that on Mercari too, like be getting stuff back to the top. Um, I'm using Flip and I'm using my Magic Crosslister. I like Magic Crosslister better 
because flip i was having issues for like a week with not being able to crochet oh you can come out oh you're right there how long have you been there you can just come over i, I can edit stuff out oh oh they won't care if you're in the background anyway okay so magic cloth i can't talk yeah nice <laughs> okay ellie not the time can i have this for now you can get your ring if you want, and I will play this later, okay? Get your ring toy. Where's your ring, Ellie? So I like to use magic cross litter. Oh my gosh. Cross litter? <laughs> oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. <laughs> I like to use magic cross lister better <laughs> because it wasn't, Flip wasn't letting me cross post to Facebook Marketplace, and when I was like having pictures on there, they would like distort them, and so they were like super squished or something, and it was like weird. So I've been using Magic Cross Lister, but I don't know if there's a way on either of those free tools to relist and delist on Mercari. So if you know a way, please comment down below. Also, you can make fun of me for not being able to speak. Okay, so I only had two sales on um, Mercari. One was a pair of loft shorts, actually two pairs. I had them listed separately, but someone asked me if they could do both for 50. So I said yes, and they sold super quick. And then the next was a Sundance pink stretch velvet burnout top that sold for 15. I did not mean to list it that low. That's another thing sometimes on magic cross lister. You've got to pay attention a little bit for some reason, like when you push the button, like I list myself on eBay from my phone and then I cross list from there. Um, but when it puts it on Mercari, sometimes it'll like change the price to what it thinks that you should sell it for. And if you don't pay attention like this, like, so that sucks. I mean, it sold really fast, but <laughs> that's not what I wanted to sell it for. Okay, let's go on to Poshmark. Like I said, I had a couple days that were like complete crap. And so I decided to run a BOGO sale and I used the My Shoppers tool for the first time ever. If you haven't used that and you're like having slow sales and you don't mind running some sort of sale, I really suggest that because I made a lot of sales from it. Um, I did it for my computer because then you can like bulk select buyers really easily way easier than on your phone. Uh, you're gonna see lots of bundles and you're gonna see lots of things selling at a lower price. I made profit on everything. I moved a lot of inventory and then I started getting normal offers back in my closet in action. So I'm totally fine with that. Uh, like I said, my Disney trip is coming up in six months and I need to pay off that trip. Right now we're at a balance of around $8,000. <laughs> if you really wanna know how much we spend on Disney, that's just our hotel and tickets. Um, yeah, I like going to Disney and I like nice vacations. <laughs> so we still got to buy plane tickets after that and, you know, food, spending money. So so I am willing in my reselling business, if sales are slow, just to do not whatever I need to do, but just random different things just to keep bringing in my normal income. Okay, first thing on Poshmark, AG Adriano Gold Schmied Burgundy Stevie Ankle Jeans sold for $23. I sold these New Balance Women's Blue Green Lightweight Casual Shoes for $21. Next was a Nike down puffer coat. This sold super quick and it sold for 26. I sold this new with tags, American Eagle 90s boyfriend shorts in a size six for $27. Next was a Harley Davidson plaid long sleeve motorcycle top. It wasn't a size one X. It sold very quickly for 20. I sold these Berkey's Birkenstock sandals for 25. Next is a pair of American Eagle high rise shorty distressed shorts. I think these were old like from last summer and they sold for 12. Next was a pair of Madewell Willow Loafers. These I got at a Play-Doh's Closet. I need to go back there again. And they sold for 28. I sold this Cabby Black White Split Back Button Up Top for 17. Next was a pair of Jill Sander Pants, which was a great sale. This came to me a long time ago in a Thread Up Designer Box. They finally sold for $72, so I'm super excited about that. That was a really good sale. Um, I sold my daughter's old iPod Touch for 40 bucks. She was going through her room. Before we move, she didn't want it anymore. Um, she actually hasn't used it like in years. Next is a pair of Tory Burch shoes. And I picked these up recently at a thrift store, I think last Thursday when my son was at welding. And they sold for 63. I sold this Torrid Marsala Stars textured knit culotte jumpsuit in a size 6X for $25. Next was a Talbot's Black Wool Blend Career Business Blazer. It wasn't a size 18 long tall. And it sold for $27, so that's great. I have noticed that Talbot's in plus size does pretty good. So just so you know, um, here was that first bundle from my friend, Jody. I mean, I guess I'll call her my friend. <laughs> I haven't like met her in real life, but we talk all the time. 
and we actually live in the same city and we have a lot of the same views so like we probably could be real life friends i don't even know if she watches my videos anyway this is what she bought um ag adriana goldschmidt stevie cuffed jeans american eagle midi shorts levi's 721 high-rise skinny jeans and levi's 311 shaping skinny jeans um she actually sent me a message on Easter and just said, I put some things in a bundle. Would you mind if I tried them on? Cause since I kind of know her, sometimes she picks stuff from my porch, tries it on and she doesn't like it, she brings it back. I will do that with some local people that I know. Um, but I kind of didn't respond to her and then she just ended up buying them on Poshmark for $65 for the four things. Um, that was an offer I sent to her. I didn't realize it was her. So anyway, that was nice. Next was a pair of Lululemon Navy Blue Straight Leg Pants. These were in a size two and they sold for $40. I sold these Fabletics gray mid-rise crop leggings for 11. I'm kind of over Fabletics unless it's like something just really good or like unique plus size maybe. I don't know. Next is a pair of new BKE Stella jeans. These sold for 25. I sold these American Eagle dark wash distressed high rise jeggings in a size too short for 15. Another pair of American Eagle dark wash distressed high rise jeggings too short. Was this the same buyer? Yes, it was. Ugh. Sometimes I don't notice because since my Posture VA sends out offers, like I'm not seeing all the usernames or like even when I do, I don't pay attention. And people could have bundled something and saved on shipping. Sorry. Uh, next, Vintage Eddie Bauer Red Snap Pocket Windbreaker sold for 11. A bundle of two items, Victoria Sport Black Lace Up Mesh Leggings and American Eagle Light Wash Distressed Jeans sold for 18. This is getting into my BOGO sale. Bundle of two items, City Cheek Women's Orange Tassel Mini Dress and a Torrid Multiprint Slate Gray Eye Cat Surplice Top. Sold together for $28. Vince Black Silk Sleeveless Tank Top, sold for $12. I've had that forever. Bowden Pink 100% Cashmere Sweater and a Bowden Jersey Dress, sold together for $35. Athleta Black Tribeca Relaxed Crop Active Pants, sold for $17. Athleta Gray Studio Rib Hoodie Pullover sweatshirt sold for 25 Bundle of two items, Eileen Fisher 100% linen gray cardigan sweater and a Z-Man Games Pandemic board game. I actually found this Pandemic board game like during the shutdown. But there is one, our thrift world around here never closed. And guess what? I never stopped going. It was amazing because everybody was scared of their minds and not going. And so I was getting like all of the most amazing donations because also everybody was donating their clothes. That's what my brother said too. He's also on eBay. He's like, that was like the best sourcing time of my life because I barely had any competition. And it was like, oh my gosh, I know. So that was like one positive out of that whole thing. I got some really amazing things and it was never busy. Okay, next, Free People Stovepipe High Rise. Wait, those sold for 35 if I didn't say. Free People Stovepipe High Rise Denim Jeans and Brooks Glycerin 15 Shoes sold together for 42 uh, Tory Burch pink leather flower t-strap sandals sold for 40. Let me tell you a story about these on eBay. If you want to hear another story time, um, these originally sold on eBay, but the buyer didn't pay. And what happened was a crazy thing. So she didn't pay whatever it would have been five, seven days. She must've got a warning from eBay because she sent me this message. Please, please forgive me for my late response. I'm so very sorry for any inconvenience I've caused you, but at this moment, my family and I are dealing with the untimely suicide of my oldest sister. So my total focus has been on my parents and my siblings. We are preparing to lay her to rest. I don't want to cancel my order, but I truly understand if you choose to deal with me, if you don't choose to deal with me. I just need a few more days. It's every dollar my siblings and I have gone to our parents to bury my big sister. So first I'm like, Okay, that's kind of weird, but I'm like, I don't know what to say. So I just didn't respond because I'm like, I'm not going to cancel her sale. eBay will cancel it automatically if she doesn't pay. So eBay did cancel it. Uh, then she messaged me. I let you know what was going on with me and I asked you not to cancel. And instead of saying anything to me, you just up and cancel. And that was really ignorant. But I literally feel like a complete idiot for reaching out, letting you know anything. At this point, I did respond to her and I just said, I'm sorry. Um, I did not cancel the sale. eBay did this. They do this automatically after someone hasn't paid for a certain amount of days. So then she responded, well, they clearly said because I hadn't paid, the seller canceled. It's fine. It's definitely not worth me getting a migraine over. Believe me, I was having the most, all caps, traumatic and devastating things to worry about. I just felt as if I reached out to you and I got nothing in return. I'm like, okay, 
I'm sorry, but I think you're lying. <laughs> I've resold stuff for so many years and I've had so many people tell me somebody in their family has died when I think they're just trying to like get out of a sale. As sad as that sounds, my first thought that she's lying was like, if my sister died, eBay is the last thing on my mind. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to pay for these shoes. Let me go. No, that doesn't even make any sense. Also, if you're using every dollar you have to bury your sister, then stop buying used shoes on eBay. That was weird. I need to block that buyer because that was weird. Anyway, then they sold the next day on Poshmark for 40. So that's my story. Uh, next, Torrid self-tie cutaway vest plus a size 5X sold for 10. I actually had this listed higher, but I was like, I'm taking any offer I can get. Um, Torrid, next was a Zaya Active blue camo high-rise mesh leggings sold for 23. Bundle of new American Eagle camo lyocell pants and a Simply Cashmere brown v-neck sweater sold for 30. Levi's 711 skinny jeans size 26 sold for 20. This is a bundle um, for $80. It was a Torrid Black Leopard Raglan sweater, a Munchkin Disney card game. We tried it and we just didn't like it. Allegria Lauren Burgundy Ruby Red um, Clogs, Barking Kittens and Exploding Kittens game. My son was kind of over that. Torrid Black Lace Plus Size Sweater and Torrid Lexi Black Stripe Georgette Tank Top. So lots of Torrid things, which is great. This next bundle sold for 36. It was a pair of Converse Jack Purcell white shoes and Allegria clogs. Next was a Polo Ralph Lauren red quarter zip sweater sold for 13. Lucky Brand Athletic Slim Jeans sold for 36. Nope, sold for 21. They were in a size 36. A bundle of two items sold for $25. Vineyard Vines cotton cashmere top and a vintage Ralph Lauren sport tank top. Next was a bundle of $100 for four coach purses. Coach Peyton Tattersall white leather, vintage coach black canvas signature, coach brown monogram turn lock, coach signature black Soho. That was definitely a good BOGO sale for that buyer. Um, another bundle for $120. Dear John, Joy Rich Comfort Skinny Jeans, Anthropology Army Green Gold Sequin Top, Lululemon Oversized Scuba Hoodie, Sublime Women's Great Short Sleeve Top, Kalia Carrie Underwood Leggings, and Cabbie In Stitches Green Pullover Short Sleeve. Next was a Torrid Ivory Georgette Pullover Blouse, sold for eight bucks. It sold out low because I came home and it had a stain on it and I couldn't get it out, and so I listed it for 11, and it sold for eight, so I still like doubled my money. I don't know, I do weird stuff like that all the time. <laughs> Um, I list things with flaws. Next is a pair of Saludos Blue Espadrilles. I've had these for like forever and they kind of were beat up. I think they came to me in a thread up shoe rescue box and I sold them for eight. American Eagle High Rise Crop Flare Jeans sold for 21. Eileen Fisher Aqua Blue Linen Open Cardigan Sweater sold for 23. One last bundle from that sale, Anthropology TLA Haley Baby Doll Top and Fit Flop Sandals sold together for 30. And then a pair of Can Can Mid-Rise Distressed Skinny Jeans sold for 28. So that's my sales, guys. Thankfully, I had the huge Poshmark um, sale because otherwise I would not be anywhere near making what I normally make for this week. So I would suggest trying that out if you want to just move some items and make some sales. So let me know down below how your sales have been. And I think, I know Sunday, I think I have a box over there. I think it's a thread up like mixed no it's shoes i think because i see s15 15 pairs of shoes so make sure you subscribe for that sunday and then tomorrow i'm gonna put out a mystery box i got from matt um why so thrifty is his instagram and stuff and i got a mystery box from him of 20 items for 100 bucks so super excited to open that up that'll be tomorrow so lots of content coming out this weekend thank you guys for watching i will see you guys again soon bye